Hello everybody, John Sposato here from the Arizona Home Group at Remax Excalibur. Hope you're having a great spring. I know the kids are all pumped up. School is almost out and summer is right around the corner. Hope you guys have a great summer planned. So in a few minutes, I'm going to talk a little bit about the millennials and how they're affecting today's market. But first, I wanted to point out a couple of quick things below. Again, the blue and red buttons are great services that we offer 24 hours on our website. If you're just interested in maybe just beginning stages of finding out what your home may be worth, might be curious, click the button, put in your address, and it's going to give you an automatic report that's going to get sent directly to your inbox. And that's going to show you a range of what homes are selling for in the neighborhood. If you're a buyer and you want to get uh, into the MLS and start looking for homes or have updates sent to you, click the button, log in, create your own account, and that is Flex MLS. That's direct access to the Phoenix MLS, and it's the same MLS that the agents use. Okay, so just click the buttons below. So let's dive into it. Let's talk about our numbers here. We got our blue wave we show every month. This is inventory, right? Inventory is uh, increasing at the beginning of the year through the spring, and then it's starting to taper off. It's been tapering off, and it continues to taper, which is great, right? When inventory goes down, prices go up, right? So the Phoenix metro area, overall, the inventory is going down. Here's activities. This is the number of homes going on under contract, the buyers that are out there writing contracts, and you can see this is a year-over-year -year comparison every month. So we've been increasing in activity since about the third quarter of 2013, up and up and up through 14 and 15, and in August of 2015, we reached our peak of our activity and started to taper off a little bit the second half of last year, but that's okay. Don't panic. We're still above the line, which means that we're still above where we were last year at this time as far as activity. It's actually 6.6% .6 higher than it was, which is great. So, something that happens uh, to maybe incre decrease that inventory was we've had some price reductions, okay? So what happens? We had an increase in inventory over the spring, maybe a lot of enthusiastic sellers out there pricing their homes, trying to be a little more aggressive. All of a sudden, there's a lot of homes for sale, so we have to see some price reductions in order to compete and to get our homes sold. This is showing every month uh, over month how many price reductions. We're averaging about 1,750 price reductions across the valley, and that's probably what's been contributing to the decrease in inventory which is a good thing. Uh, here's a great summary graphic here provided by Mike Orr and Tina Tambor over at the Cromford. We love you guys. Thank you so much. Um, three different sectors. Just a quick summary snapshot. So again, overall inventory is up 0.3% from last year. Uh, overall listing at, uh, activity for homes going under contract is up 6.6% from last year. And then the monthly median sales price, again, right in the middle. The average uh, the median sales price is 223000 So equal amount of homes priced above and equal amount of houses priced below. And that 222,000 is up almost 10% from last year. So way to go Phoenix, houses have been increasing. Uh, can't go anywhere without talking about interest rates and we got another great down week, okay? This is actually the lowest point. 3.59% for the 30-year fix. It's the lowest point of 2016, and we've had 14 out of 16 reductions week over week for the last 16 weeks. So interest rates are incredible right now. So if you guys are out there on the fence thinking about buying, got lots of homes, got low interest rates, now's the time to give us a call. Let's help you get into that house. Now we're going to talk a little bit about the millennials, right? We talked last month about the baby boomers and how they were trying to downsize and cash in and get out of their homes. Now we've got the millennials, all right? Now the millennials are being tracked by Ellie Mae. Ellie Mae is a software company that handles about 25% of the mortgages throughout the country and they're tracking the millennials. They were born between 1980 and 1999 and they are going to be a force to be reckoned with for the next 20 years, okay? They're going to affect the housing market and they're going to affect the overall economy. Um, they're saying by 2013, millennials are going to outnumber baby boomers by 22 million. So it's definitely a force to be reckoned with. Um, so in Phoenix, millennials comprise 26% of the amount of borrowers out there in today's market, okay? Now that falls pretty much in the average for the country, 10% down in Sarasota, Florida, where there's more retirees, or 45% in Laredo, Texas, where I guess there's more younger students and uh, people buying first-time home buyers. Um, for other markets like uh, California, San Francisco, Los Angeles, San Diego, where the prices are higher and entry levels harder to get into, uh, the millennials only represent about 16% of those market in comparison to 26% in Phoenix. A couple other numbers. Uh, the average age for the millennial is 29. 45% uh, of millennials are married. Um, and the average loan amount is just under 196,000. So first time home buyers, 196 loan amount, to give you an idea. The last two numbers are gonna be really interesting. The average FICO score is only 716, and the average loan to value is 89%, which means that they're putting an average of 11% down payment, 
Okay, so two myth busters there. First of all, you don't need 750, 800 FICOs to buy a house. And second of all, you don't need 20% down payment. You can get in with 10, five, and even 3% in some cases, all right? So if you guys are looking to get off the fence, get into your first home, you've been afraid to buy, you've been afraid to reach out to start that process, give us a call, send us an email. We can put you in touch with a lender if you'd like. You can get fully pre-qualified, know exactly what your payments are gonna be, know exactly what you can afford, and let's get you looking in Flex MLS, and let's get you that first home. Stop paying your landlord's mortgage. Start building some equity. Now's the time to do it. Lots of homes, low interest rates, low down payment. Give us a call, 602-571-3730. Send us an email. Have a great summer. We'll talk to you next month.